In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly transfer your assets internally between your spot account and your derivatives account. If you appreciate this kind of content, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and check out some of my other Bybit tutorials, including my Bybit step-by-step -step beginner tutorial. I'll leave a link for those videos in the description down below. Let's get into it. To transfer funds internally between your spot account and derivatives account, come up here to the top right hand side of the screen and hover over assets. From this drop down menu, click where it says assets overview. Of course, this brings you to the assets overview page where you can see your spot account, derivatives account, funding and more. Notice on the right hand side here that each one of these accounts has a transfer button, but you could also find transfer buttons inside these accounts as well. So let's come over here on the left hand side and we'll go ahead and click on spot. And here's where you'll find your spot wallets of all the different crypto that you own and store in your spot account on Bybit. Notice at the top right hand side of the screen, you'll find the transfer button up here. Also under action, each one of these cryptocurrencies has its own transfer button. So you can simply click on the transfer button of the cryptocurrency that you wish to transfer into your derivatives account. I put a small amount of Tether into my spot account for the purposes of demonstration. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Tether's transfer button. Then Bybit's going to give you this little pop-up window here. And it's going to be showing you that you're transferring from your spot into your derivatives account. Notice that you can change these around by simply clicking on these arrows right here. Now you can see that I just configured this to transfer from derivatives into spot. So when the time comes that you want to get your coins out of your derivatives account, that's one way to get that done. But I'll just go ahead and switch this back. Down below, you can see the coin that we're transferring. Of course, in my case, it's USDT because I selected the Tether's transfer button. But you can actually change the coin here as well. If you give that a click, it becomes a drop down menu and you can select a crypto from this drop down menu that you wish to transfer. Of course, I'll just leave that on Tether. Down below that, you can choose a custom amount. So we could do 100 Tether if we wanted to, or we could just simply click on all if we want to transfer all of it. And then when we're ready, we'd click on confirm. Now you can see that we've transferred the tether out of the spot account and into the derivatives account. When I click on derivatives, we can see that the funds have arrived and now we're ready to trade some derivatives. Take note on the right hand side under action, you'll also find the transfer button here for each individual asset. So let's go ahead and transfer that tether back to spot by hitting transfer. In our little pop-up window here, we want to switch this around now. So we want to click these arrows. Now we're transferring from derivatives back into spot. I'll leave this on USDT, click on all, confirm. And now you can see that the tether has been sent out of the derivatives account and is now back in the spot account. You can also find a transfer button inside the user interface as well. So I'll quickly come up here to derivatives. Let's come down to USDT perpetuals, BTC versus USDT. And right over here under your order panel, you'll find the transfer button right beside exchange. If we give that a click, you can see that we have our little transfer pop-up window where we can transfer from spot into derivatives. If I click on all, confirm, and if we come back over here to the order panel, you'll see that the tether has showed up and is ready for trading. And there you have it. That's how you transfer your assets internally between your spot account and your derivatives account. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and hit subscribe. Feel free to check out my other Bybit tutorials, which are in my Bybit tutorial playlist on my channel. Thanks so much for coming by. Looking forward to seeing you in the next video. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.